Every tough shell has something it's made to defend. This may be why so many people, from ancient Greeks to modern day cartoonists, have thought of the crab as a protector. Ariel needs constant supervision. Constant. And you are just the crab to do it. Sure, this is just folklore. But as the ocean's security guards, they are sounding the alarm for real. This time, about the slow creep of climate change. Take the rock crab and the Dungeness. These crabs hang out along the west coast, but increasingly warm waters have made their habitat inviting to algae, which is poisoning surrounding marine life with a neurotoxin called domoic acid. It's been freaking out scientists like Kathy LeFay. This algal bloom on the west coast of the U.S is unprecedented in size and length of time and um, geographic range. Things got so bad, officials from California, Washington, and Oregon were forced to ban crabbing at the peak of the season. This has cost the tourism industry $22 million in California alone. This may be a sort of cautionary tale that this warming water is an important and sort of maybe even scary feature that this may be happening more as our oceans warm. On the opposite coast, another pair of species is in trouble, the horseshoe crab and a bird called the red knot. Their fates are entwined. Rising and warming seas have cut crab populations. As a result, the red knots, which fly record distances to feast on horseshoe crab eggs, are on a decline that's even more dramatic than the crabs. Last December, the red knot became the first bird declared threatened by the effects of climate change. It's not rock bottom for everyone, though. Small green crabs and supersized king crabs are thriving and conquering. Unlike many other marine creatures, green crabs don't seem to mind North America's acidifying ocean waters. Up in Maine, Scientist Marcus Frederic has seen firsthand how their population has exploded. Green crabs will be among the winners of climate change because they suddenly outcompete other species and do much better. They can't wait for the ocean to warm even more. Meanwhile, down in the Antarctic, warming waters have allowed voracious king crab colonies to move into new territories, eating almost everything in sight. For eons, the constellation Cancer, represented by a crab, has watched over the Earth. But the species in our oceans are not eternal, and their fate is still unfolding.